welcome back to my channel. Glasses are falling off my face. If you are new here, my name is Britt. The man behind the camera is the beard. The beard. And in today's video, this is actually a collaboration video. This is a favorite pumpkin recipe. So I want to say thank you to the host, which is Sierra Davis and Miss Amechi. I will leave their channel links down below. What are you looking at? I gotta show them something. What? Shirt. What about it? Socks. Oh, I, that was a happy accident. I uh, I took a shower this morning, and that seriously was a happy accident. <laughs> well, well, anyways, I guess I'm getting in the, the fall Halloween spirit. But anyways, thank you. I will leave their links down below, and I will leave the recipe down below. And today's recipe is going to be a pumpkin bread recipe. So if you'll come closer, I'm going to double the recipe and ignore my counter because it's cluttered because I'm doubling the recipe. Um, oh, God. Hold on, I gotta get there. First thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which we've already done. And then you will need a bowl and a mixer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the ingredients for the base recipe, and then I will show you what I'm doing for the double of the recipe. Ow. Um, one and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, a half teaspoon of kosher salt. This is the closest that I had, coarse pure sea salt, so it'll work. One cup of sugar, one half cup of unsalted butter, two large eggs, one can, one cup of canned pumpkin, two tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one half cup of pepitas. Optional, I'm not doing that. Yes, dear. So the first thing that you want to do is line your loaf pans. I don't have liners, so I'm using cooking spray. These are my loaf pans. They're old, but they work. This one's old. This one's not too old. Um, so in a large bowl, whisk together flour, baking powder, baking soda, and the pumpkin pie spice and salt. So one and three-fourths cup of flour. Halloween candy everywhere. Flour everywhere. So one and three fourths of a cup, but I'm doubling that. So, so that would be three and a half. Yeah. Okay. So that is the flour that we need. And it wouldn't be baking with me if I didn't completely make a mess. So there's that. Not all the flour came out, but that's okay. And I'll do it on phone. Now I need um, I have to my phone. one teaspoon of baking powder. So two teaspoons of baking powder. Why did you pinch me? I didn't pinch you. The whole. Just rub it on. You're not pinching you. Maybe I did pinch you. Is it teaspoons? Yes. One, so two teaspoons of baking powder. One. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One half teaspoon of baking soda, which is just one teaspoon, because I'm doubling it, and if I find my baking soda, ha! There it is. I got stuff everywhere, guys, so ignore me. One, one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, so three of three teaspoons. One. Make sure that it's pumpkin. Okay. That would have been bad if it wasn't. It's like Chinese five spice or something. Uh, that would have been my luck. And one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go kind of light on it. So there we go. And then one cup of sugar. Do I have the sugar in with it? No. Oh. I do not. Oh. Okay, now we've combined all that in the pork. Well, I'm gonna use a whiskey. I'm getting down to some whiskey business here. And a 
large bowl, whisk all of that together. In a second large bowl, add butter and melt in microwave for a minute. So my butter, I have two sticks of butter melted over here. In the bowl with the butter, add sugar, pumpkin, eggs, milk, and vanilla. So I'm gonna put all this in my mixer. So butter, four eggs, because we're doubling the recipe and it needed two eggs. Um, so it's the butter sugar, which was how much? A cup. So two cups of sugar. Where is my sugar? Over here. <sighs> okay. So now we're going to add two cups of sugar. I'm going to have to replace my sugar a little bit because it's getting a little bit low. I might get two cups. And this may look like a lot of sugar, but this is only a half cup, so that's that. I really didn't think that y'all would want me to sit here all day measuring sugar. Um, milk, sugar, pumpkin. Well, we're not the pumpkin next. So sure. I would not be baking with me, like I said. I didn't make a mess. It's like a war zone. A pumpkin, eggs, milk, and vanilla. So one, two, and vanilla, and milk, which is how much milk? Two tablespoons. We're gonna do four tablespoons. And I'm just using whole milk. Maybe. One. Close enough. And then whisk together and then add to the flour mix. So now we are going to mix it.
ish. And now I'm just going to pour half the batter into this loaf pan, half the batter into this one, and then we are going to cook it for. Forty-five to fifty minutes until it comes out with a toothpick clean. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm off the top of it, so I've got four, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, look how the, this smells like pumpkin pie. Does it I'm really not even like, joking. Ooh, yeah, it does smell like pumpkin it pie. It seriously smells like pumpkin pie. Like I'm. I love the fall and I cannot wait to make some pumpkin pies. It's happening. If you are a fan of pumpkin pie, leave this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite pumpkin thing is because I want to know. Mine's pumpkin pie and this pumpkin bread because it smells like pumpkin pie. It's delicious. And I didn't want to make just a basic pumpkin pie, so I wanted to do something else for this video. So that's exactly what I did. Anyways, so you just want to flatten it out. Now, if you were using the pepitas, this would be the time that you put them on. I am not because we don't have any. Some people may not know what pepitas are. What are they? Pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, just little seed or nut they're, they're things. Pumpkin seeds. Yeah, that you put on the... On the top, we don't have any, so this is what we're doing. So I'm going to start off on 45 minutes, and then I will be back after it's cooled. I'll let you know how long it took in my oven, and I will show you the finished product. Going in? Going in? You're going to film me going in. Oh, I'm oh, filming, God, you. That's hot. filming you going in. Oh, gosh. Okay, so now I'm going to set my timer for 45 minutes, and we will be back, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Um, this is the result. We left it in the oven for 50 minutes on 350 degrees. We started out at 45 minutes, but it wasn't quite there, so we decided to do an extra five minutes. The way we tested it was we took a toothpick, inserted it, came out clean. And another thing that we did, well, that I did, is after I put it in the oven, I decided to put some chocolate chips in this one. So, chocolate chip pumpkin bread in this one, and this one's regular pumpkin bread. Um, I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to give, I'm going to pop it out, show you how easy it popped out with just the um, cooking spray, and then I'm going to cut it up and let my kids have it. So, this is what it looks like. It's been cooling for about 10 minutes. Oh, ouch, it's a little hot. So, we're just going to see. Look how pretty. Like, look how pretty that is. That looks really gorgeous, actually. I don't want to move it too much. Oh my god, it still smells good. That looks really, really pretty. I'm actually going to take a picture of it, because I can. But you guys, look how pretty. Like, it came out perfect. And now, I'm going to cut it and show you guys what it looks like. Because it has had time to cool. Oh my goodness. Look at that. This is what it looks like cut. I didn't cut all the way down. But now I'm going to try it. Is it delicious? It is deliciousness. Mm -hmm. I love warm bread. Any kind of warm bread. I love it. I'm there for it. You try it, babe. Oh my god, it's so good. It is good. It's kind of fluffier than I thought it was going to be, too. Like, it's really moist and rich in the middle. And it tastes like a pumpkin pie and bread form in the middle. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I was chewing. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you try this recipe, please let me know. And I'm going to... Cut some for my kids now to eat while we're waiting on our pot roast to get done because that's what we decided to do for dinner was a crock pot pot roast. So, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.